Gang, the middle class famous tour is about to be in full effect. Woo! Come out and see us. It's a great way to introduce some new people to the show. So grab the homies, grab the ladies, the birds, the bozos, everybody, and come see us. Yeah, guys, we're going to be in Hartford, Albany, Syracuse, Atlanta, Tampa, Orlando, Pittsburgh, Buffalo. We ain't done yet. Detroit, Denver, Phoenix, Salt Lake City, Chicago, then over there to Roseman. And that's just the first leg of the tour. Going to be coming, so get the techies. We'll see you there. Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Hey, everybody out there, and welcome back to everybody's favorite new podcast. This is Are You Garbage? Mm -hmm. It's a little show we sit down with your favorite comedians and we find out if they grew up to be classy yeah. or if they're just a big old piece of trash. Mm -hmm. I'm your host, H. Foley, coming at you on a glorious day down here at Aunt Tootie's basement. Yeah. She is officially off probation. <laughs> Good for her. So we got that going. We're going to break out a little champagne later. Okay. Maybe do a little drinking and driving. Have a little fun <laughs> with it. Back in the roundhouse. <laughs> My co host is coming at you from right next to me. He is the CEO of Are You Garbage? He is an internet. National businessman, he is not to be trifled with. They say he's the guy that brought down Merrill Lynch, but we'll never know. <laughs> I'm more of an Enron man. <laughs> Give it up for KJ. Hey, gang. Thanks for tuning in. As always, please make sure you rate, view, subscribe on iTunes. Full video available on YouTube. And as you know, those numbers are True to roof. fucking Woo! cooking. And obviously, I'm contractually obligated by law. I think it's a federal law now to mention patreon.com slash are you garbage. Yes, sir. The greatest website of all time. You can yes, sign sir. up. You get bonus content, episodes of AYG, episodes of Hard Feelings, live streams, the whole fucking nine yards. Check Check it the fuck out. Check it the fuck out. And how about a nice quick shout out to our producer extraordinaire, the man who makes us all look good, puts the lipstick on the piggies. Give it up for T-Bone McScruffins, Toby McBuggins. Yeah. What's up, dudes? Yeah, what up, T-Bone? Bug free is the way to be. Here we go. <laughs> I was going to say something about how Akash makes me feel talented and loved, and you make me feel like a piece of shit. That's my goal, buddy. You're the best. You're the best. I do it because technique. I love you. All right? Foley, what made you pick turquoise as a beanie? <laughs> it's so not you. Yeah. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna deal with this on my own podcast. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Gang, we couldn't be more excited to have our incredibly special guest back with us again today. Mm -hmm. He's a part of the goddamn family yeah. around here. All right. Co-host of Flagrant 2, got a brand new special that came out last night. It's already cooking. It's called Bring Back Apu. Yeah. You yeah. know him. You love him. Give it up for Akash. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Attacking my style. Thank you. Why if else Foley, turquoise not me? It just doesn't seem on Tootie. I think it pops. <laughs> on Tootie right? wouldn't buy turquoise. I feel she like might... Bieber. Take it from Goodwill, <laughs> but I don't think she would buy. She also turquoise. drinks cooking wine. I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'm not taking my fashion tips from her. Up there drinking Marcella wine on the rocks. Oh, on the rocks. I think you're losing a little weight. A I little. I think I'm losing a little weight. We're not doing a weigh in. We're not checking the weight for at least a month or so. Why is it that? would be pretty good right now, though. I just reminded we have the scale under the couch. Not gonna happen. <laughs> why? Why? <laughs> why? It's redistributing. I don't know what that's. It's gonna all say. on his ankles. <laughs> <laughs> hey, shoes won't tie. <laughs> My trainer just squeezes me every day. <laughs> Put you in a corset every day. Like a wet towel. Yeah. But he's been hitting the gym. I'm very proud of him. He's been hitting the gym. That's he's amazing. not a trainer. You look good. Thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you. We're trying. We're trying here. We're How's about the guy? three months into the therapy. Three months. Oh, therapy. Therapy. We're about three months in. Buddy, and, I'm five uh, years the trainer. In. We're two months in. So it's been good. That's great. And a lot of it from you, buddy. You, you, hey, you, you, you encouraged me. You, well, you put the fucking screws to me, is what you did, and you put it in their mind <laughs> yeah. to, for me to get a trainer. And now, I'm, now it's fucking hard as shit to Kippy's lie and get around. Kippy's entire future. This. Kippy, give me some. His entire future is tethered to you. Think about that. Fat guys are a dime a dozen. <laughs> <laughs> There's a pizza place right around the corner. I'll just have Ian Fide and start bulking up, and you'll be out too sweet. Start putting creatine in his Pellegrino. Get Ian all bulked up. Nah, you and Ian got good chemistry too, but y'all's chemistry is fucking phenomenal. Oh, thank you. And it doesn't work if you keep being fat. He's, I think I've painted him. I mean, we do on uh, on Patreon. We do. I'm in the tightest corner I've ever been. We do fat now, court. I'm, st I'm still pulling some moves every once in a while. <laughs> yeah, he's got a couple of Buddy, every corner is a tight corner. I got a couple of cheeseburgers you. up my sleeve. 
Uh, but he has. I'm very, I'm very proud of him to get the ball rolling. And no, that's great to be where you are. Three days a week at the gym. I got a, a, a four gym. days at Arby's. <laughs> <laughs> They're my off days. <laughs> the gym is that new diner on 46th Street, by the way. Um, uh, and yeah, walking the rest of the time. The the diet is you know something that we're slowly kind of you know <laughs> modifying. Yeah, you know what I mean. It's not, it's not about going for broke. Thank you. Yeah, it's about making decisions. Like my trainer was saying, if you get a cheeseburger, don't get the fries. Or if you get a cheeseburger, who is your fucking trainer? <laughs> yeah. That's the worst. Colonel advice. Sanders. What are you talking about? <laughs> That's crazy. If you get a cheeseburger, don't get the fries. Put down the burger, you fat fuck. <laughs> Go to Guy Fieri Physical Therapy. <laughs> <laughs> Take you to Flavortown, baby. <laughs> Emerald also works there. Bang. Uh, no, oh just you know, it's a, it's a it's a process. It's a process. Yeah. You know, there's some steps forward, there's some steps back, but, you know, that's the way it goes. I mean, you're giving a fucking... The press <laughs> right, conference. There, is, there is no trainer. I've been lying the whole time. <laughs> I'm in a rebuilding season. That's yeah. what we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> you're talking like you just lost the Super Bowl. I got a couple of good prospects in the G League right now, though. I'll tell you that. Foley just read us his December 31st Instagram caption from when yeah. he didn't lose weight. <laughs> yeah, I'm in <laughs> therapy, a lot of steps forward, a lot yeah. of steps backward. New I'm a work in progress. progress you know? I look like a human boomerang so I can go <laughs> back and forth. New me in 2023. Uh, Gang, you got the special. Yes, sir. Let's talk. Yeah, man. I put out my first special. I'm super excited about it. I ran it. You guys saw it. Well, yes, I don't know if I've saw seen it. it a good amount of times, uh, I feel. But yeah, I ran it. Uh, one of the days I filmed it was I had y'all featuring for me. Yes. Nice. Uh, at, stress, at the Stress Factory. That's what mm -hmm. it's called, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah Stress yeah. Factory. So I put it out. It's called Bring Back a Poo. And I wanted to put it out pre-pandemic, and then obviously you couldn't do stand-up for a year. And I was thinking, after the pandemic was over, I was like, I want to make sure I still felt this way about things. And I was still passionate about it, and I was. So as I got my legs back underneath me, stand-up-wise, I was like, this is it. This is the special. Let's put it out. About a half hour-ish. And the idea is all kind of centered around this, this whole uh, privilege conversation that we have. Mm -hmm. Where like, we say, like, white men have all the privilege. And to me, it's like, bro, if you're in America... You probably got a lot of privilege. Yeah. You I tell know, them. Yeah. And look, I'm going to say one time, I know black people, this doesn't really apply to y'all because y'all been systemically fucked. Everybody else, you are lucky to be here. My parents told me about every day how lucky I was to be in America and not how they grew up. Rubbing your face in that shit. Son, <laughs> they would make me feel like Rubbing shit. Rubbing your face in a Pop-Tart? <laughs> 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 yes. fucker. 100%. My mom told me when she came to this country... Before she came, her cousins told her, this is what they, there was no internet. It was the 60s or whatever, 50s. They said, uh, when you turn on the faucets in America, honey comes out. Because that's what they thought America was. Damn. And that's where they were coming it's from. It's a fully, oh, fuck. That was a fat joke and I couldn't get it out. <laughs> God damn it. They started flying in my head too quick. <laughs> I was going to ask you what neighborhood you're talking about. I think I know where I'm moving to. Fucking I remember I knew I was fat when I was a kid. We talk about the land of milk and honey. Remember that? Yeah, that yeah, cool? yeah. And that would just make me so hungry. Horny, you mean? <laughs> <laughs> Foley, stop that. <laughs> Sorry, teach. No, but I get, uh, and I see like Indians kind of talking about white male privilege and this and that. And I'm like, yo, you sound so fucking thankless to me. You sound like a spoiled brat. You sound like a kid in a two-story house complaining about a kid in a gated community. Mm-hmm. And it's like, yo, shut the fuck up. You got a house. You have a beautiful house. You have a beautiful family, most likely, a beautiful culture. So I'm mainly talking to my people, people that are from where I'm from. But mm -hmm. I think a lot of immigrant kids, hopefully, this will resonate with them. And then anybody who's just a fan of me in general and, like, comedy that's not supposed to be on the quote-unquote right side of what, you know. It's like a little I'm, edgy. This guy's yeah, a little yeah, edgy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, this kid. If we're not yeah. edgy, we're not having fun, you well, know? Sure, I, no. If I, I'm I, saying I've shit. I've seen a couple people leave your show, Mitchell. <laughs> Have I ever cared? <laughs> no, of course. One I, of them was because of you. What are you talking <laughs> yeah, about? Yeah, it, it was that, oh, yeah. You walked somebody in my show? Yeah, you insulted some Handshake, Jets cheerleader buddy, yeah, or yeah, something yeah. like I, that. Yeah, no. It was, <laughs> her, hus her husband was like the special team coach of the Jets. She's like, do you know who my husband is? I'm like, I don't give a Nobody knows who yeah. They're the Jets, dog. <laughs> Bitch, you're threatening me with a kicker? What? <laughs> a kicker? Yeah, a I, kicker? I'm like, what, you're going to not let me walk on next season? Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Good for you. I love walking people. That's the best, dude. Get yeah. out. Go. It hurts me. I'm not a big fan of it, but still. Ah, <laughs> oh, dude. I'm... <laughs> Please don't leave. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, you're going to get more. As you get to do this more, I didn't get to headline till like 2020. I was like 12 years in. 
So in a certain sense, I had a lot of growing to do, but in a certain sense, I was pretty refined as a comic. Sure, of course. Yeah, and yeah. one way I was refined is like, I don't, people are going to get up and get, that's fine. That's going to happen. But as you get more confident in your ability, and as you start headlining more and you strengthen that muscle, people leaving won't attack your insecurity as much because it's like, oh, I'm funny. So you can leave if you want to. Not all of you are going to find me funny. That's that's fine. Yeah, you're but, very okay with that. I'm but not. Which we are not okay not with that. All. I'm up there tap dancing. Mommy love me. <laughs> Dog. I fall want... home to the parking lot and do a show just for them. <laughs> Yo, you want to talk about therapy. This is some therapy shit, and this is so hacky comic talk, but it's a, a literal thought I used to have in my head. When they would be calling me on stage, Eastville was the only club I was passed in for the longest. And they'd be calling me up on like a Thursday, Friday night, or Friday, Saturday night, packed show. I swear the exact words that were coming into my head as I was about to go on stage were, I hope these people don't realize I'm a complete phony right now. Oh, yeah. And then the I was second, talking about that today. And then the second they don't laugh, <laughs> your brain, that voice starts going, holy shit, they're finding out. Yeah. And then you start talking fast and cussing more. If you think they think it, they might as well think it. Yes. Yeah. And sure. you're list- most people don't pick up on it, but you will listen back to that set and be like, ugh, why did I do that? Mm-hmm. And I've learned, I legit, this is so corny, but before I go on stage, I will say something that Andrew used to say, probably doesn't need to anymore, but I am good enough. They don't dictate whether or not I'm good enough. They could not like me. That doesn't mean I'm not good enough. They don't have that power. So I just go up there, and then when they don't laugh. These guys are millionaires and not us. Dude, we're in the final wall. (laughs) Dude, we're in the back. I'm like, we both suck. Why are these people here? Pull the plug. Toby, get off stage. Fuck that. that. Foley, start the car. I, the I usually ask here. if my hey, stomach's up, hanging out of the bottom up, of my shirt. Hold, wait, I literally have to. I, I had to tie his shoes at the Gramercy <laughs> Theater like three weeks ago. I'm not even fucking around. Yo, <laughs> that's ask, what we're they doing. They were new pants. <laughs> they were new pants. Let me ask y'all a question. I'm not even. Fu- you two are doing fucking pep talks. I'm literally tying his shoes. <laughs> fucking Let Gary V's over here. And you can bleep this out if you want to. I'm going to ask you a question. Answer it. How much a month do y'all make on Patreon? It's funny you bring that up. Uh, it's uh, we make twenty four thousand dollars. There you fucking go. You think some bum ass? What you told me five? <laughs> God damn what? it! You dump it, dump it. You think some bum ass? Wor- tw- you think some bum ass? Not worth it. Not good enough. Human beings are gonna make twenty four k a month on Patreon. Yeah, you think people yeah, are gonna got the sign up over everybody's eyes? No, <laughs> fuck that we're shit. We're in here dog. talking about pop tarts. What are you doing? Fuck that shit. We're dog. both actually British, which is weird. And so, it. <laughs> y'all got it. A lot of people want to come on Flagrant too. We put y'all on. It's true. Not not everybody got it. Honestly, you, and not everybody has it. And y'all together really got it, but individually you got it too. Otherwise, it wouldn't work together. So you got to tell yourself that. And the, a lot of your fans are gonna be like, "That's stupid." That's kid. y'all do that shit too. Fuck everybody and yourself whenever you're like, "Nah, I ain't shit." That has been the biggest thing that's held me back in my entire life. And as I work on it, Damn. everything changes. It is so corny. I write myself the fucking notes. I'm good enough. Before I go on stage, I will literally type out, they could not laugh. That's okay. It does happen to a lot of guys. It happens. <laughs> it is normal. It will happen to me. And a it lot has, of girls prefer son, small I penis. Bomb my, I bought my ass off at City Winery this summer, and I was <laughs> I was fucked up for a couple hours, but then after, now I look back, and it's so funny. Bombing in retrospect is always so funny. In he retrospect, got it's still, it's you got the heat on you when you walk off stage. Got, oh, that's moment, natural. Sucks. You can't. You can't not feel it. Even if you're like mostly okay, it hurts. But at the end of the day, that doesn't mean one bomb does not define me. One crush does not define me. I'll say the same thing. Sure, of I'll course. say whether this set goes well or goes poorly, it does not change the fact that I'm good enough. Nothing changes there. Mm-hmm. So I go up there and I, as long as I have fun, everything else will be okay. It, there is no bombing if I had fun. Damn. If I have fun, I, d- I get to, you know what's crazy we about stand-up? We got to get you on, like, college basketball locker rooms. I know. Fire up some of these kids. I'm ready to start doing drills right now. Buddy, that's what's crazy about stand-up is you get to dictate how well it goes. Even if they laugh or not, if I had fun, it's a win. We think it, and I'm not saying I adhere to this and I remember this in the moment. I forget all the time, but I remember off stage, not often enough on stage, but I dictate how this goes. If I had fun, no one can tell me it wasn't fun. Damn. And Dude. as that happens... What the fuck happened to Akash? This guy's fucking crazy over here. Buddy, I'm telling you, getting out on the road has helped me a lot because I used to doubt myself all the time, and I remember Andrew had a legit pep talk with me on the podcast. He's like, dog, you're one of the nicest comics out there. Why do you not know that? Mm-hmm. And it was like a 20-minute talk on the pod, like, stop this shit. And it was because I never... I'm sitting here doing fucking 15-minute club sets. I'm 12 minutes in. And you can't really grow doing that. Sure. But then as I got to get out there and do 45, Stretch 45, legs, 45, yeah. and breathe on stage and fucking get into the shit that I want to get into, I was, I felt confident and I was like, oh, I am actually good at this. 
And then you do all that other work in the therapy and all this shit. And then when those two merge, you're good. You're good because you've done the work. Y'all, have, I see you at the fucking Village Lantern barking the first year you get into New York. You guys have done the work. You put in the grind. You and I have talked about how we write. Super similar. Sure. Our whole process, super similar. So you're, you just got to get to that point where you're like, yo, I'm good whether they laugh or not. It doesn't mean I don't, if I bombed, I, have, I fucked up and I need to work to fix it. Sure. At the end of the day, it's my fault. But it doesn't mean I'm not good enough as a comic. It just means I bombed and this night I fucked up. Damn. Step this is this is the money talking right yeah, now. Yeah, what's going on? This guy's been going to Whole Foods for the last six months. His brain's operating. At a I different don't go level. to He's Whole Foods. Got Bitcoin Foods. on that. No, 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 no. <laughs> That's not fair. I don't go to Whole Foods. Whole this guy's Foods, got a river view. You know what I mean? I don't go to Whole Foods. Whole Foods comes to me. It gets delivered on Amazon. <laughs> don't. This guy's got Amazon Prime. That's I'm pretty not, good. I'm not what? in line with those fucking mongrels. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> those homeless people. Yeah. No, but I, this is the thing. And like, as my confidence has grown in my. Uh, yeah, you have to say confidence, and my skills, I think, have caught up to where I wanted them to be. Now I feel like this is my time for the special. Like, let's go. I'm proud of the jokes. If you watch an hour after the special comes out, different hour, and it's, I think it's going to be maybe even better than what I put out. Maybe. If not, you will walk out of my show being like, yo, that motherfucker, you can like me or not like me, but you'll say objectively, that guy is skilled at this thing. The bald guy that opened for him, though. <laughs> <laughs> that fat host didn't do too well. <laughs> The bald guy who talked about having a small penis also wasn't so strong. I want you guys to come onto my show and fucking bomb your ass off at least once. I think I just might have that early show. Just <laughs> bomb, dog. I didn't notice. I guess you weren't in New Brunswick a few months ago. <laughs> I guess you weren't at your show. Didn't have the sound on in the green room. I told you, we, we didn't tell you, I bombed when Schultz did his first residency at New York Comedy Club. Well, I, I was bombed on one of those shows, too. I, I know bombed. Scooter Braun was in the audience. Scooter Braun was in the audience. Uh, but I did that same move. I didn't know if they had the sound on in the green room, if he knew. So like when I put, went in to like, you know, check with him, I was like, hey, Kevin's on now. Uh, you'll be up in a couple minutes. He was like, okay. And I just, I stood there for a second like, all right, nothing, everything's cool. <laughs> I saw him deliver his closer and a tumbleweed blew across the stage. <laughs> <laughs> a posse rounded up to get him. The lights started dimming. Yikes. When, when they're just staring at you, is the funniest. Like, they truly want to laugh, but they don't know where they're supposed to. It's a tough look. Oh, man. That's my favorite bomb. He's like, <laughs> they're, they're, they're trying, trying to, to do the math on it. They're like, I don't even get this. What is this guy talking about? I like electric? you. Yeah. I just wish I liked your comedy. Oh, that's so oh, man. I don't watch funny. The Simpsons. What the fuck? <laughs> Buddy, you're killing me. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. Buddy, congratulations. Thank We're so you, happy man. for you. Thank you. Stoked. I'm excited for On the for fucking this. special. Bring yeah. back Apu, gang. You got to fucking watch it. Yeah. It's going to be fucking absolutely fantastic. Childhood hero, Apu. Uh, let's get into a couple of cues here. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. As you know, we got family here. We got a little company here. Akash. Third oh, Big time? Kev. Shouts to Big Kev. He's shot the entire special, edited with me. He edited it. I just told him what to do. Uh, and this guy is also my bodyguard, so Love Big he's Kev. up. Yeah. Shout out to Big Kev. He's, he's sitting he's, on the couch right now. He's Akash's T-bone. Yeah, he's 6'11". He's huge. Big-ass white boy. I also did the thing when I met him. I'm like, hey, you play basketball? Can you dunk? <laughs> you know, what size shoes do you have? I just asked him I, to see his piece. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Let me see your piece and let me know if you can dunk or not. <laughs> Kippy, three words you're going to love. What? Helix, Helix, Helix. Woo! You know what? I'll say it one more time. Helix, the greatest mattresses. In the world. Yes. Because what happens? You got to go to the mattress store. You got to walk around. You got some bozo with coffee breath and a tie. Breathing down your neck. And a short sleeve shirt. He doesn't know what's going on. No. You go to Helix. You take the quiz. Mm -hmm. You know exactly what kind of mattress. That quiz probably takes, what, 30, 40 minutes? Two minutes. Two minutes. Two minutes you're in and out. Two minutes. This ain't the LSATs, Pinhead. <laughs> All right? We're sleeping here. Guys, as you know, the uh, the great Helix company was nice <laughs> enough to give uh, give us a, give me a mattress. Me and my lady took the sleep quiz. Uh, I took. We ended up getting the Twilight <laughs> series. Um, it was so good. We had a queen. I loved it so much. We upgraded to a king. Yeah. Now we're living it, baby. Uh, and every- I got the queen. I got the queen. Come over and use it sometime if you want. Still got that kippy smell. Uh, yeah. So if you're looking for a mattress, take the quiz. You order the mattress that's matched to you, and the mattress comes right to your door, shipped for free. You don't ever need to go to the mattress store again. Nope. Uh, Helix is awesome, but don't take our word for it. Voted best overall mattress pick of 2020 by GQ and Wired magazine. That's top notch publications. There you go. Helix has been recommended by multiple leading chiropractors and doctors of sleep medicine as a go to solution for improving your sleep. 
So here we go. Just go to helixsleep.com slash garbage. Take the two-minute quiz. I'll match you with the customized mattress for the best sleep of your life. Helix is offering up to $200 off all mattress orders. Crazy. And two free pillows for our listeners at helixsleep.com slash garbage. One more time, that's helixsleep.com slash garbage. Do it. This podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp. Yes. Gang, the good people at BetterHelp want to help. Mm-hmm. Is there something in your life that's interfering with your happiness? As you know, Uncle Hank started, the big man. started a therapy journey yes. a few months ago. I'm telling you, it helps. To talk. It's very important. And if you live in regions of the country where you don't have certain specialists, better help is even more important to you because you can have access to specialized counseling. Yes. It's not a crisis line. It's not a self-help line. It's professional therapy done securely online. These are pros. Service available worldwide. You can log into your account at any time, send a message to your therapist. You'll get a timely and thoughtful response. Plus, you can schedule weekly video or phone sessions so that eliminates sitting in a weird, uncomfortable room. You can hear the guy in there before you crying or screaming yeah. or, you know, punching a pillow or whatever. Uh, it removes all that awkwardness. Uh, special offer for Are You Garbage listeners. You get a 10% off your first month at BetterHelp.com slash garbage. One more time, that's BetterHelp.com slash garbage. Big Kev, shout out. Shout out to Big Kev. Love that Big Kev. Gang, as you know, when you sign up for the Patreon there, you get a couple of questions asked on the air. Mm-hmm. We got some here that we're going to uh, work out with Mr. Ratcash thing. Yes. Have a good time. Uh Speaking of Patreon, nice. We have to announce them. This is the public episode. Ooh, we talked yeah, about let's it. See all, what you think about this? We talked about it on our pri- We talked about it on the Patreon. Uh, but you know, we do. We lean. We do the goals. Of course, right? the goals so, are like, the best. Fully, Going to Disney. Uh, we just hit twenty eight hundred patrons. So I'm taking Big Man to Disney for the first time. Oh. World, not land. Doing oh, the yeah. whole. <laughs> doing the whole fucking rig. He's going to get stuck on a roller coaster. <laughs> 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 doing the whole fucking rig. Toby's going. Yeah, we're going down, shoot everything. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We put it all on the Patreon. We get some of them big turkey legs. Uh, like we did, we did like cribs of like the, our childhood homes. Mm-hmm. We did, you know, some other. We did a bunch. Are of you going to Harry Potter World, or can you not fit on the rides? This is we we literally on the Patreon episode had to Google uh, Disney World for fat people <laughs> to see what what. And there is like a dot org that like there is uh, a shocking amount of information on that. Yeah, just a lot of fat motherfuckers. Stay love Disney. away from it's a wonderful life. <laughs> But uh, Universal Foley, Studios, you're really getting to the hot dog park, unfortunately. <laughs> Universal Studios, I assume, less fat than Disney. I don't know why, but I feel that way. Yeah. No, Universal Studios, I think they'd be fatter. Why? Because they watch. What movies. do you have more interest in? Because <laughs> <laughs> that'll dictate what your like-minded people do. <laughs> I have interest in fatter, to be honest with you. Um, well, you I don't want to go to Harry Potter. All respect See? to Harry Potter. I told you. Fat don't people don't care for Harry Potter. Nah, world. get out of here with that. Everybody calling me Hagrid and shit. I'm not <laughs> fucking doing it. Um, I want to go Star Wars. Oh, is that there? That's Star Disney Wars would now. be cool. Yeah. Yeah, that's Disney. Again, you're Disney. I'm telling you, fat people prefer Disney. I don't have any empirical evidence except you, <laughs> but I know this. Very small. I'm, I'm, I don't even want to go. <laughs> Um, there's a lot of there's a lot of heavy set folks down here. Yeah, there is. It's built. You know, we're gonna get them a rascal for a day. I mean, know. it's not a fucking tough mutter race. What do you expect? <laughs> Who do you think is gonna be down there? Cyclists? What are you talking about? Just a bunch of dumbos walking around. Yeah, they're serving <laughs> funnel cake and fucking huge lollipops. Son, um, if you walk though, you will lose weight. No rascal. You just walk that whole fucking park every day. You're gonna lose weight in two days. Yeah, dude. You know how much weight do you have to lose? I don't know. If you hit 10,000 steps, I think you lose like 40 pounds. He says my, he does 10,000 a day. I think my deep fried Oreo intake down there is going <laughs> to oh, tip enough. the scales fair on enough. that. Um, but that was our last goal that we just hit. So our new goal mm-hmm. is um, we're going to. We're what, betting it all, baby. Yeah. We're going to do a $10,000 roulette spin on black. I love that. When we hit 3,400. One spin. One betting spin. Betting it all on black. So it's either going to make the rest of the night fucking <laughs> awesome or it's going to fucking suck. The only concern. And my, I have, my wife has to pay the rent that month. Either way, it's going to be a good time. The only concern I have for you guys is it's just the one spin. How are you going to do content beyond the one spin? We're going to have a dinner beforehand. Okay. You know? Oh, we have a lifetime of Foley's anxiety that will. Yeah. Go into he, that. We came up with it the other day. He couldn't. He's been. He couldn't sleep last night. If y'all listen, if y'all go to thirty six hundred, I'll put in half with you. I'll put what? in another ten k. Thirty six hundred. So, and then if then if you win, we split the profits. Wait, what? And if you lose, it is what it is. <laughs> okay, so if we go to thirty six hundred patrons. Thirty six hundred patrons. You'll you'll match the bet. I'll match the bet. Really? Yeah. All right. That's it. You're like, my, my, my hands are sweating, dude. 
What about you, big guy? You want to get into this action? <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you flash that piece? I've got 10 bucks on it right now. Drops oh, oh, the keys sorry, in the I truck. wasn't clear. I'm, I'm betting his salary, $10,000 of his salary. <laughs> so you're in regardless. <laughs> yeah. I said it to Toby. He's like, there's no way we're doing that, man. <laughs> Toby started freaking out when I thought. Fucking, what's, what's it all about? Going in there and fucking laying it all on the it's, line. That's the most new money thing is make a bet that you for sure can't afford. And I'm already working on how I'm going to fall into the table or fucking fake a heart attack <laughs> when, when this thing comes up on red. Yeah, if it hits I'm red. I'm going to throw a bunch of ping pong balls up in the air. <laughs> fucking run out the door. And if you win, what are you going to do? I, I think the goal is to blow it that night. Yeah. Okay. All right. I, I want my 10 It's either going to be the saddest, like, you know. <laughs> Drinking at an Irish pub or, you know. When I find out you blew my 10K as well <laughs> after winning, I'm going to be livid. Before How many we... shrimp did fully eat? What the fuck? Before we get down there, hey, sorry, big man. Hit it, hit it red, Akash. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. We're telling you we lost regardless. <laughs> yeah. Alternate ending. About? Let's do it. No, but I'll do it. 36, though. You got to hit 36. All right. 3,600. Damn. Yeah. This just escalated quickly. Yes. Yeah, how we came up with it was our was the guy who helps with the editing, new guy Luke, was like on Entourage, they would walk in and they bet 10000 on red right off the rip. And we were like, fuck yeah, we that's were, crazy. We were drinking at a dinner and we were like, let's do it. That's what we're doing. And then we, that's how we ended up in France. We man. reviewed the clip and it turns out they bet five bucks. <laughs> <laughs> but we were already dead set on the 10000 <laughs> I already then, committed. Yeah, and then I was like, well, maybe 5000 What about 2500 You know what I mean? <laughs> Fucking Luke. 10 k slapping oh it all God. down. Yeah. All oh, right. man, it makes me sweat thinking. And I like gambling, but. 20 k on black. Not when it's more than I have in my bank account. Whew. All right. Or we can split 5 k each. When we no, put that's. Or no. Uh, bah, 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 on one number. How about this? What? No, what? Hold on. I, I have a proposition for you. <laughs> Think about, about that payout, though. How about this? 180k. We make the initial. Wow. We make the initial uh, initial ten thousand dollar bet. Mm -hmm. If that hits, then you come in and we double down. All right. What would you have to put up? Twenty k? No, I put in ten. Y'all put your twenty. Then it's thirty k. You win sixty. Ooh. I'll take my twenty. Wait, hold on. I'll take your forty. Everybody, li what's wrong with you guys, yo? If we get Schultz involved in this, we could, <laughs> we could be buying a casino. <laughs> if we go threesies oh, on that. Oh, dude, I'm so I'll nervous. I'll talk to Schultz. Let's see what we can do. Oh. If Schultz wants to come in on top, if that one wins, then we play. Schultz mad at pussy with his money, to be honest. I'd be teasing him all the time. <laughs> Safe-ass bet. <laughs> but... Yeah, this is this is a man who is very comfortable with the ups and downs of Bitcoin who's spitting all yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> this guy's getting fleeced today, by the way. I checked the reports. I wish it would fucking crash to 5K. I'd put so much in. Yeah, this you can't trust this guy. <laughs> this guy's fucking bonkers. <laughs> he wants it to tank so he can buy more. That's a psychopath. <laughs> oh, Jesus oh. Christ. Let's do it, dude. Why are you so nervous, dude? It hadn't even happened yet. It's a lot of money. Put 10 G's on. I could easily that back out. 20, Who knows? Throws you know? in I could just be talking. Yeah, we get down there. <laughs> hey, sorry. Something's wrong with Chase Bank. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> what do you got, TD? I'm sorry about that. We're running from the Atlantic City mob. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting escorted out of the Borgata. Oh, you doing Vegas or AC? AC. 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 We're an Atlantic City family. Yeah. Fucking I'm not getting on a plane to lose 10 I'm not, going, I'm not going out to one of those rug joints yeah, out there. Yeah, but you can't, even, you can't even enjoy the fucking dinner in AC. They got a they got a Carabas. <laughs> <laughs> There's an meal. Yeah. No, they got uh, car not car bones, I went to uh, Atlantic City. Car mines. Twice. Car mines. I'm not if we if we're car mines knows their, knows their way around a penny on a lock. I'll tell you <laughs> that. We win ten thousand dollars. I'm not going to fucking family style. <laughs> if we if listen, I'll go <laughs> with you to AC. All right. Oh God. All right. Let's do it. Let's do some fucking questions here, guys. So when you sign up for Patreon, we will answer. Oh, your... sorry. Real quick, if sure. we hit if we hit the te the ten k in Atlantic City, we're gonna come to New York and eat the fucking meal of our lives. Yeah. We're not eating in Atlantic City. I okay. We get I something on the way. <laughs> Stop at Farley's or something on a parkway. Yeah, I'm rich at that point. I'm not, I'm not going hungry. <laughs> you kidding? I struggled my whole life, and I finally got money. I'm gonna be hungry. Swing by a Roy Rogers or something. Uh, okay. yeah. Okay. No, there's good. The poor guy. I, you know, I've never, I've, I've, I've never really eaten the mayor, but I think there's nice places. There's a you can get a good steakhouse. So down I thought there. we were doing Vegas buffets. Now y'all are eating fucking. Vegas, you think I'm gonna? F that's insane. Wait, you think, think that's classy? A Vegas buffet? Hey, it's better than Atlantic City. You know, the one time I walked to Atlantic they City, they got a Gordon Ramsay's down there. What are you talking about? They do. I had a great burger there. <laughs> <laughs> Those cheesesteak egg rolls were gourmet. I don't think you understand how garbage we actually yeah. are. 
Yeah, dude, that's embarrassing. But a Vegas buffet, that's classy. Now, I've never been to the state myself. Oh, I've no. been to Nevada, but we went to, this is pretty trashy, we went on a family vacation to San Francisco, and our whole family, when we got there, we drove down to Reno for one night to go to a buffet at the Golden Corral. That's you know, the hilarious. Golden Nugget. This is generational Golden, trash. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is fucking eons of garbage. Generational trash. <laughs> generational garbage. These are dirty, dirty people. What does all. a Vegas buffet look like? So they got some nice buffets down there. Really? At the, at the nice hotels, yeah. I mean, it's like 100 bucks a person, but it's good food. Crab uh, would they tra- like would they transfer? Do, do, do they work together? Like, could we? Could there is like can a I have s- appetizers at Harris <laughs> and then go down to Circus Circus. I Dude, think are, there you, is are like you asking if your buffet credits transfer like community from college? Atlantic City to Vegas? <laughs> like, if we win the money in AC, could they have a jet waiting for us and be like, "Yeah, we're sending the boys out." There is They're like hungry? a buffet tour that's like he hit four different buffets. I know of this. I don't know if it still well, exists. I know we're doing for the next goal. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Four thousand. Like this. Yeah. <laughs> four thousand four buffets. It's, it's just all another. Checking out. Just another. You're gonna go to Vegas and thirty-seven hundred. We hit the buffet. <laughs> go to go to Vegas. Put twenty-seven hundred or twenty thousand on red. There you go. Ooh. That's um. Okay, but hold on. Go back to this. Maybe if we, um, if we do win the first bet, mm-hmm. right? I say we take a thousand and bet it on a number. Okay. That's pretty good because you're playing with house money. Yeah. All right. We take a thousand. We bet it on a number. And then, and then we double lose down. That. Double down. What do you mean? I thought we're not going to no, do my pull, double down idea. No, I think it's double you, down. I think you pull you pull the initial bet. Oh yeah, you yeah. take yeah. I mean, this is coming from a guy who's never gambled and he hasn't stopped talking about gambling since this has come up. I just googled most expensive buffet Atlantic City and it's the one at the Borgata and it's thirty bucks. <laughs> <laughs> well, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. We can bring some friends. <laughs> Big Kev, what are you doing when we hit 3600 Or if it goes south, we're all splitting one plate. That's like three bucks each. Yo, that's going to be fire content. We're all going down there together. Big Kev will come. Yeah. We got two camera people now. Mm-hmm. And we're going to make it a fucking night. Well, that's the thing. I don't know if you can shoot in a casino. You probably got to go like fucking real covert ops. We got to get body cams. We'll get, oh, spy yeah, we'll glasses. get those hats. <laughs> I'll wear a fake mustache. Yeah, the pens. Case. You put your fucking phone on in your pocket, just have it peeking out. There you go. We got it. Yeah. Got it, guys. We got it. Then you take. Yeah, Man, we, if we lose, say, that ride home is going to fucking suck. It's going to be so, so is funny. That next month. It's going to be funnier than every bomb that's ever happened. <laughs> yeah. That's a bomb. <laughs> that's a bomb. Oh, that's, that's a bomb. A bomb. Man, that's the most expensive scooter bomb. Scooter Braun, no scooter Braun. <laughs> <laughs> You're sweating. I don't give a shit who's watching. <laughs> ah. That's fucking crazy. So if we win 20K, we put two. On you, you. We'll take a thousand from ours, yep. and you take a thousand from yours, and we'll put it on two numbers. Put and it on two. If numbers. One of us hits, we split that. One of us hits, we split that. There you okay, go. that's pretty good. G's up. Look at this. G's up. We got it. Done. All I love right. It. Damn. Oh my that's god. That's fucking. We're really in this. I wanted to announce it. On I'm gonna the do. Public. A, I'm gonna do a side bet on us to lose. <laughs> <laughs> that way, I break even. <laughs> <laughs> I just broke a lease on an apartment I can't afford. <laughs> <laughs> this is, Tell I me mean, we're we good. are. We are gonna be. No <laughs> shit. Come March, we're going to be upside down. I won't have to Check worry about Check out the Middle Class Famous Tour, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Let's start selling some tickets on the fucking road. If we lose, I won't have to worry about getting fat that month. <laughs> that, might go, be the best, that might be the best thing for my overall health. I yeah. still have, we got, I have to tell my wife somehow. <laughs> Who paid for all this. <laughs> <laughs> Who's not going to be happy I'm taking the $10,000 in risk. Or we'll get her original investment back. <laughs> Yeah, one or the other. Uh, my wife will never know. So <laughs> there you go. Man. That's that's how I get around it. Yikes! Why can't you have confidence? Me? Yeah, I have confidence that we're gonna lose. <laughs> <laughs> Are you gonna tell your parents? No way. <laughs> what? <laughs> I got it! I don't think anyone in my family's ever all combined has ever gambled. No. Ten thousand dollars total. My parents. I think my parents have ever gambled. They don't go to the casinos. If they do, she sets it to slot machines. If you want to stretch just, out, just for the free drinks. Just for the smokes. If you want to stretch out the content, we could also take a thousand and put it on a parlay sports bet. If we win, yeah, well, now we we're win. What is this? Thousand. Uncut gems? What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? I'm gonna get shot in a jewelry store. <laughs> but, uh, the fuck out of here. Let's put. I like Garnett in this one. <laughs> Fucking 12 team parlay. See what happens, you know? I don't mind that either. Are we millionaires or are we going home? What's going well, on? We're going home for Betting sure. Betting on the trotters? <laughs> Never bet the chariots. No. Fuck you. Man, those races are too long. That's what it is. All right. All right. Let's get into some fucking questions. This, this is a barn burner already, baby. Um, all right. This one's from Jaden. Uh, do you believe in fortune cookies? 
No. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck no. It's pretty trash if Dude, you do. They had me crippled for, <laughs> for most of my life. I would save them in a pocket. Yeah, no. What? Oh, they scared the shit out of me. I didn't know what was going on. You were like, what? what I mean, well, they're always like, Good. They're never like you're gonna die. This oh, I was I was scared that if I that's how many fortune cookies Foley is eating. <laughs> he got to this is a problem. <laughs> hey, stop eating fortune cookies. Get your blood sugar checked. <laughs> no, I don't I, even like the cookies. Oh, I love them, dude. I you love them. I have a, such a sweet tooth. I'm such a fat kid at heart. I don't even think they're that sweet. They taste like cardboard to me. Sweet oh, cardboard. I think like sweet cardboard. I've had fortune cookies when I wasn't having Chinese food. Like if they were just like in the drawer mm-hmm. from like old Chinese food orders, just have them as a snack. But you always have to read the, the fortune. That's the problem because I'm worried about getting the bad juju. You can't do because you can't eat a fortune cookie without reading the fortune. No, you got. That's I, how piano. I think there's a moment you. where it, it gets you a bit of it's like, oh, this. Not, but then you got to remember it's a fucking cookie. Yeah. With any just a hundred computer generated fortunes and who gives a shit? Yeah, no, I can't do that. I'm not strong enough for that. <laughs> I believe the fortune cookie gods will get me if I don't if I, if I don't play by the rules. <laughs> How you doing, big guy? I was up the first three, and I'm. <laughs> <laughs> I should have I should have walked away. <laughs> the one said, "Get an endoscopy right away." What the fuck? <laughs> Have your prostate checked immediately. <laughs> they said, "Never walk away from the table during a heater." But <laughs> fucking winner, winner, chicken dinner. Let's let it ride. <laughs> Just with a coffee table like the outside of Enron, just shredded paper. <laughs> um, maybe we pull the number off the back of a fortune cookie. Don't they have lucky numbers? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe we do that for the number bet. Okay. But there's six numbers, right? They're lotto numbers uh, or five numbers. Right. We'll pick a number. Either way, let's get a little Do you have Chinese. a number in mind? If it's right? 3,600 pages, maybe I don't know about 36. you guys, but I got a hand Oh, that's pretty good. If and it's, the, the odds, I think, are 36 to 1, the payout. So it's 35, oh, 35 to, to 1. 1. Oh. So maybe, okay, so we'll do 3,600, and then... But is there a number 36, or I think it only goes up to 35? I don't know, but you guys green. are making me hungry with all this Chinese food <laughs> talk. Let's get some fucking sesame chicken in here and get our heads on. <laughs> right? Uh, all right. Um... Uh, Let's see. Uh, Can I ask you this on a side note? I'm buddy, it's a podcast. Do you Let's like do the it. chips that they put out at Chinese restaurants with the duck sauce and the mustard? Will you eat those? Uh, you know what I'm talking about? The crispy noodles. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I'll dabble, but they never really do it for me. Nobody oh. does chips and salsa better than chips and salsa. Yes, you that's I mean? exactly. I'm going to tell you this. Whoa Hop, they're fucking. Whoa Hop's, are, whoa they're hops good. Blow your mind. Yeah. Yeah, whoa, whoa Hop's Woo. good. You're the only guy who talks about drunk food like it's gourmet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you guys been to Taco Cabana in Texas at midnight? <laughs> oh. Cheryl's on the grill. You're in for a treat. <laughs> Who's o- rolling burritos tonight? <laughs> I'm the only guy to ever have a chalupa sober. <laughs> <laughs> for breakfast. <laughs> Shout out to the chalupa. Um, okay, but let's talk about that box of awesome from our good friends at Bespoke Post. Did you say Bespoke Post? Yes, I did. Love them. Love the box of awesome. They sent us one. Absolutely the coolest stuff you could ever think of. It's winter now. Yeah. So they got some real cool stuff. Could be some outdoor stuff. Could be some stuff for the home bar. Could be some grooming stuff. And they team up with emerging brands and small businesses. So you're helping out small businesses. Yes. Then they have collections for every part of your life, baby. Whatever you're looking for. Like I said, we said a hundred times. They sent us something. We, I got a camping cool, stuff, pocket knives, cool duffel bag. I take with me on the road when I'm jet setting. You know what? It's cool guy shit. You want to be a cool stuff guy? That, it's, stuff, it's the stuff that you see some other guy having yes. on the way to work, and you're like, I need damn, that. that guy's cool. Yeah, damn, I want one of them. Yeah, that's where you get it. Uh, it's free to sign up. You can skip a month or cancel at any time. Uh, they release new boxes and every month across a ton of different categories. So whatever you're looking for, they got you covered. Uh, and here's the best thing. Each box only costs 45 bucks. But what's in it? Over $70 worth of gear inside. What, what are, are we doing? doing here? What are we doing? T-Bone, cut this. What are we doing? <laughs> uh, each uh, box of awesome, you're supporting uh, small brands like the big man said. Get 20% off your first monthly box when you sign up at boxofawesome.com. Enter the code garbage at checkout. That's boxofawesome.com. Promo code garbage for 20% off your first box. Do it. Do it. Kim, okay, let's talk about Butcher Box, baby. Butcher Box? Butcher Box, my absolute favorite. And the people that run that company are insane because they're giving away free hamburger. <laughs> they're giving away free ground beef over there. 
top quality. Big Grand man's got Lebeef. a chubby going right now, dude. It's nuts. I can feel. I it. still got a freezer full of. Them. I know. It's- Salmon, chicken, pork. Top quality stuff. It's unbelievable. Yes. Meal prepping is difficult. Butcher Box is making it easy. It's a scri- subscription service that takes the guesswork out of finding high quality meat. Uh, so they source their meat from partners with the highest standards of quality. For So no more searching the grocery store for 100% grass-fed, free-range, organic chicken, wild-caught salmon, and more. I've done that with my wife where you're, like, dragging from one place to another. Like, where's the organic? Where's the whatever? They take that all out it's right cool to the to, door. You know, you know they're on the up and up too. What? Because sometimes things aren't available because mm-hmm. they're not in season. Yes. Or whatever, or they don't have a good source. Of for course. It. That's how you know they're playing straight ball. Yes, exactly. Uh, no antibiotics, no hormones. Each box contains eight to fourteen pounds of meat, depending on the box you choose. That's twenty-four individual meals, packed fresh, shipped frozen for convenience. It's a no-brainer, gang, and this is your chance to never have to shop for ground beef again. This is bunkos. Stop. T- don't tell them that. That's right. Butcher no, Box they're not. is giving new members free ground beef for life. What? You better like burgers, baby. Sign up at ButcherBox slash AYG and get two pounds of ground beef for free in every order <laughs> for the life of your membership. One more time, log on to ButcherBox.com slash AYG to claim this deal. Do it. Crazy. Back to the show. All right. Uh, you recently got married. This is from Joshua. Uh, have you ever forgotten your significant other's birthday? Ooh. No, because mine is so, like, her it's birthday right is there. everything. No, her birthday is everything to her. So that's the one day I can't forget. Wow. I didn't get her a Christmas you do, like, gift a month? this year. I didn't get her a Christmas gift, but I was like, bitch, you're not even Christian. Why do you care? Yeah. That was a thing. I got her something later. But birthday, if I ever forgot birthday, it would be a fucking problem. You do like a trip? Do you do a dinner? A I don't know, but I just got to know it's a significant day. Whatever it is, I have to treat it as a significant day. That's it. Uh-huh. Whatever happens, my girl loves nice gifts and all that shit, but the most important thing is I understand how important this day is to her, which to me is like... Grow, grow up. Yeah, everybody's got one. What are we yeah, doing? People here? really yeah. stretch their birthdays. Women too. in general seem to really value their not all, but a lot. Seem it's a weekend. Really care it's about their week. birthdays. It's my birthday I think week. Men have the birthday beaten out of them at a certain point. Like you still care about your birthday. You're 14. Grow up, bitch. Yeah. No. Yeah. So that's why for us, for me, I was single until I was 31. I was like, who gives a fuck about a birthday? I, I caused our birth, first birthday together. I caused a huge fight. All my fault. Nice. And I was like, I don't give a fuck about your birthday. And now I look back, Cut I'm two. like, oh, that was a problem. It's the most special day of the year. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Cut to, I fucked up, my bad. I always feel like a loser. I always wanted to be at other people's birthday parties rather than mine. I don't know why. I just didn't like it. Where did, where were you, was this on a public episode or Patreon where we talked about the birthdays? Patreon. Patreon. What were you, did you have any birthday parties growing up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My parents didn't make a lot of money were for they a while, themed? but they did a good job taking me to like, Putt putt and my friends, and we, they, I don't know, they probably spent hundreds of dollars on fucking arcades or whatever. Mm-hmm. Any surprise parties? No, I never had a surprise party. Oh, my parents threw on, my mom and my now wife threw on. What's funny though is I've never, I think it's happened twice in both times. I was like, I know this is a surprise party, but I have to pretend I don't know. Mm-hmm. Really? And then How do you feel about surprise parties in general? It's nice. It's nice if you can pull it off. Go, that's great. Good for you. I've thrown one or two, I think, but like, that's sweet. It's a really yeah. sweet thing. What do you think? I don't want to know. I don't know. I don't, yeah. I don't like not knowing stuff. Me and my wife aren't big on surprise. She's like, I got you something. Like, tell me what it is before it gets what here. What is that? I don't like being fucking That's bamboozled. Weird. What, what are I you getting know. bamboozled? Somebody does a generous thing for you? I don't know. That's a, and you got to suck all the fun out of it. Tell me what it is. <laughs> <laughs> what is Man, that? this guy's got my number. <laughs> I'm letter, I'm letter. Man, I was thinking, I'm like, he's going to call me out on some fucking horse shit today. <laughs> I know it. Last time it was my dad. Now it's my wife. Uh, no, no, I'm, never. I, I, I don't want to cause problems before. with you and your wife, no, but what, it's a surprise, buddy. Who gives a fuck? I ruined a surprise party one time. How? My ex, my, my girlfriend in high school. He's home from three blocks away. <laughs> 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 I heard him walking down the block. The water started shaking. <laughs> <laughs> he was wheezing. My like can't, a my fucking can, my T-Rex can't. looking in the window. <laughs> <laughs> the windows fogging up. <laughs> Pretend like you're sleeping. <laughs> My cannonball splash. You can see it from miles away. <laughs> now, nah, fucking, I went outside to smoke. Her parents hated me, too. It was fucking brutal. It was the worst feeling I've she ever had. She was throwing you a surprise party. No, it was, her, it was her 21st birthday surprise down in her basement. You can fuck up a cup of oh, coffee. Oh, man. Who, that, that's the rule. You don't go out to smoke a cig when you know she's in route because you're getting a call or a text. Hey, she came down the wrong way, too, because we went out like through like the storm door, like in, like, you know, like a basement would have. It was like a brand new nice house. 
and she was supposed to come down like through the you know the regular the stairs. Inside. But she saw me and fucking came over there on that side, and we were all facing the other way, waiting for her to come uh. down the steps. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, she, all of a sudden, you hear, "What are you guys doing?" <laughs> Oh, man, the look her mom shot me. Yikes. Oh, man. my God, that's so funny. <laughs> Ruined it. That's like a sitcom moment. Ruined it. Jesus. Okay. What was the question again? <laughs> um, I forget where, how the fuck we got. Oh, buying, or for, forgetting your spouse's birthday. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> we forgot Toby's birthday. We just, that's what we were talking about. We literally just forgot Toby's birthday. Yeah. Didn't yeah, but text I don't, him, didn't I don't, call him. Nothing. I don't remember men's birthdays very often. I don't either. I you, see it on Facebook. I'll shoot you a text or whatever. Yeah, that shit on, is kind of, yeah. Also, what, what I don't like doing? is the I get text or Facebook messages from people that are just happy birthday, and then I don't talk to you for a year, then your next text is happy birthday. Birthday And I'm like, be, what yeah. are we doing here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's Dinner and a shit. cake. Dinner and a cake. Yeah. That's it. Uh, any man who cares about his birthday needs to grow up. That shit is embarrassing. Yeah. You need to grow up. Yeah, yeah, dude. <laughs> As a guy who was just crying last week in here that we forgot his birthday. <laughs> You know, Blowing out his own cupcake. <laughs> <laughs> my I'm family, sure they're just busy. Your family and your wife should know and care, and that's it. Everybody else, who gives a fuck? Yeah. yeah. What's yours? February 26th. February 24th, 1976. Uh-huh, I was close. Well, it's coming. I know, because I, now I know why I know it. I book all the fucking flights. That's how I know it. Uh, <laughs> Wait, don't really have to bleep that. You can't have your birthday out there, right? It doesn't know how to get in you. Are you, are you get in what where? What are you, are you thinking? thinking that's one of the There's questions. There's an entire there. website called Celebrity Birthdays. Am I on there? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody put him on. <laughs> it's the wrong birthday. Son, um, you know what's more embarrassing? I was on there, and then they just stopped sending me anything. <laughs> <laughs> Last year, nothing, yo. What year you got an anniversary card? Yeah. <laughs> I got a fucking uh, remembrance card. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we, we heard you died. <laughs> Uh, oh, this is perfect. Speaking of, this is from uh, Mums to Mums Toe Separators. Don't get that. Um, do you have a funeral song picked out? No, we don't do that shit. Indians no. don't do that. You burn the body, you move, keep it moving. Yeah, they're not over there playing Journey like a bunch of animals. <laughs> I mean, you just said it very cold, too. We burn the body and keep it moving. <laughs> yeah, come on, bro. Damn. You got a song picked Wait, out? Wait, say it again? I'm she- we cre- I mean, we cremate all the bodies. The, a couple of funerals I went to, I was crying my ass off, and then somebody was like, this isn't what we do. We celebrate your life and then we you know we move on you have another life you reincarnated you keep going have you ever gone uh, to reincarnate that sounds pretty good have you not yeah, it's not bad not have bad you gig. ever have you ever been to a funeral in india where they did like the old school cremation i haven't been to a funeral in india but With there's what? like third i thought they like put they no, build like yeah, a pyre yeah, a pyre yeah, and, yeah. and burn you yeah they do yeah i haven't they do it seen right that. there I haven't seen that, but I, you see that in movies and it's stuff. It's like hibachi. Over there, <laughs> over there roasting marshmallows. <laughs> Who's got a stick? <laughs> Uncle Lenny has good flavor, I'll tell you that. Uh, I haven't seen it. I don't know. They still do it. I see it in movies and stuff. And then when I went to India after my grandfather died the first time, it was like 10 days after he died or five days or something. So I'm, you're still mourning for 13 days, uh-huh. but I didn't see the actual funeral. Gotcha. Yeah. Hmm. What's your funeral song? Uh. You, first of all, this isn't your walkout music. You don't get a funeral song. Yeah, you do. They're not going to. It's, like, it's your special. What are you what, coming what out you, to? What, wait, <laughs> yeah. And what are you going to. Are you going to introduce me? What are you going to have like the little. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> my best pal. And where would that be played? Are you going to have that played in like the church on like a little disc man? At the viewing or something. I'm sure they got a sound system. I mean, this is what they do for a living. You you they're not, you're not walking in with a walk. You can't it's... start cranking the Menzingers in a fucking <laughs> funeral. Home. No, I won't. Uh. Uh, mo money, mo problems. That's the one. <laughs> <laughs> the edited version that is. <laughs> my mom's gonna be there. What are you talking about? You're still in we're... this reality. My mom's still there. Yeah, everyone's yeah. gonna, everyone's gonna pa- pause and have your song. We've got a luncheon to get to, asshole. <laughs> and now with the request of the deceased, hit him up. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I fucked your bitch, you fat motherfucker. <laughs> I said edited. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Do, do you want to be buried with anything? Lucky like you, fun. motherfucker! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like sunglasses or a harmonica or something. <laughs> like that. I, don't, I don't even. I don't know how to play a fucking harmonica. No. What I um I do want, which they you know I want the old Irish way where you're you're. I think we might have talked about this where you're like. What they put you up. Yeah, I want to be on. I want to be on like a pool table at an Irish pub, and everybody's just like surrounded by flowers, and everybody's just boozing around. Yeah, no, that's, that's a good of, time. Yeah, it's an what Irish are you, the wake, right? Blinders. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
That's a good time. That's an Irish wake, right? Yeah, I think. <laughs> yeah. Why not go out one last party? Open bar. <laughs> Shots on Gibby. I definitely want to be cremated. 100%. I want to be cremated and put in, a, in my... Sam, my... why would you do that? Climate change already a problem. Yeah. Losing trees left and right. Fucking ozone's going to be gone. <laughs> that puts it right over the edge. Oh, right, that goes Miami. <laughs> <laughs> this fat fuck had to get cremated. <laughs> Hope you don't have any family in downtown Los Angeles because they're all underwater. Oh, my God. There goes Miami. Uh, oh, shit. That's a good time. Yeah, all cremated's right. the way to go. Um... <laughs> All right, this is from TJ. Did you ever own a Bowflex? Yes. <laughs> really? Did. Really? Dude, How'd you have money for that? They were expensive. My dad, we had money for a bit for a few years, and then we lost it on shit like Bowflex. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. His mom's got the Thigh Master going. Yeah, that's a guy. That's a guy who's not gonna have money for long when you buy a Bowflex. Yeah, Bowflex. Oh, my yeah. God. Well, that yeah. was. Be a gentleman. Get the total. Gym. That was Walker Texas Ranger, right? No, he did the total gym. That was like the, the I think. inclined with the thing, right? Yeah. The Bowflex was the power rods. Yeah, the the power Bowflex rods. was for like this rich. This guy bit hook, line, and sinker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a stainless steel construction that makes it worthwhile. My dad was like, I did the math and it would cost less to get a Bowflex and get my whole family a gym membership for like a year. Uh -huh. So let's just do this and see how it goes. And, and it never goes. That shit no. never My brother out. lost weight on it for a little bit. For me, no. My brother lost weight on it for a little bit and then my dad and mom didn't work out once ever. Ever. Yeah, never. Yeah, it was for way. like yuppies in like the in the 80s. I thought it was just to look cool in an apartment while you were doing Yeah, it was broke. like that late 90s it came out. Do you remember the Bowflex Tobe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it did, but it didn't. I mean, We definitely had a thigh master. I know that. No, we never did that. That was the only Bums thing we did. Steal over here. <laughs> we we did that in a Showtime rotisserie. Set it and forget the Ronco? it. Ronco, Ronco, what? yeah, yeah, yeah. You, oh my yeah. god, that shit you was. Had to set it and forget we it. Had Ronco. to set it and forget it. It was fire. Damn, I've Guy's always a wanted that. Yeah, it was great. Cornish they still game hens. Them? We used to make Cornish game hens every Sunday. Really? Yeah. What are you English royalty? Who Cornish makes Cornish game, game hens? Do you guys hunt like, them yourself? It was like seven bucks for two. We <laughs> feed the whole family. I don't know if I could do that. A Cornish game hen. Damn. That's yeah, wild. Dude. I don't think I've ever talked to somebody who's had one. Yeah, it was good. Great infomercials. The flavor injector wasn't shit, though. That blonde really? lady. Really? That blew my mind. The yeah, flavor yeah. injector. It seems like such a great idea. Yeah. That didn't blonde lady was such a fucking dingbat. She didn't know what the <laughs> fuck was going on. Dingbat. <laughs> <laughs> hey, honey, it's chicken. Relax, will you? Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. Did you ever put anything besides, like, anything that wasn't, it wasn't made for? Anything besides chicken? We like did. A we tried a couple Joe? other things, mean? but the chicken was just so simple. You just fucking put that thing on there and then let it. The, the rods, right? The, yeah. What'd you put in there? No, I didn't have one. But like, we had a pizzazz. We made a giant cookie on it. You know, pizzazzes are cool. You know, what pizzazz. What the, that's a pizzazz. Oh damn, pizzazzes. It's a are pizza right. tray or something. Yeah. Pizzazz. <laughs> we made I don't even a giant know how to spell it. P i z a z, right? Or... Smoking a little doobies that day, huh? You and your good. What's time a pizzazz, buddies? Toby? This. It's like a heater. So you can put like anything on it, frozen food or whatever, and then it like shoots heat out of this thing. Oh, that seems spin. fire. It's, yeah, it's pretty cool. Cooks a pizza perfect. Yeah, it's pretty the good. Air fryer changed my entire life. I can't get on. I don't Fuck know what they here. are. Buddy, it's the fucking greatest thing in the world. You just got to get one. Really? I'll get a Ronco before I get one of those. Buddy, <laughs> if Ronco starts making them, I'm a Foreman Grill I'll kind think of guy. about it. Foreman Grill, nothing on the air fryer. Nothing on the air fryer. What are you cooking in there? Buddy, cook everybody said I oh, cook your shoes, anything. Yeah, cook chicken wings. You might not even need any oil. I'll put like a tablespoon of oil, chicken wing seasoning, 15, 20 minutes. That shit is perfect. It's like it's deep fried, but it's so good. And that much oil, bang, whole pack. What do you mean oil? What are you talking about oil? Where on the chicken? You know, normally when they deep fry things, fully, this is a problem. If you don't know this, this explains a lot. To be honest, they drop it in a fucking pool of oil, and that's how it fries. What? <laughs> no, I know, but what do you mean? You're putting oil on it after the fact? No, no. But when you before you cook it, you season the chicken, you throw in like a tablespoon of oil, mix it up, and then you just drop that shit in the air fryer. Maybe it's just like it if you were putting something in the oven. Yeah, it's an oven. Yeah. It's just I a small you. oven. Nah, but it makes things crispier than an oven. It fries it up nice. I don't get the frying thing. Buddy, it's 25 bucks. Just get it. <laughs> You'll get it. You know what I mean? Just get it. Over my dead body. I'm giving them away at Bed Bath & Beyond. That's the 2,900 patron gold. Is you guys get fucking air fryers. I'm a pizzazz man through and through. <laughs> yeah. And I love the George Foreman grill. Buddy, air fryer potato. I made french fries on that bitch. I just cut up some potatoes, put that shit in there with some oil, toss it up, put oil in it, and then throw it in there. French fries. Done. I don't know. Everybody's pushing these fucking things. Yes. Yeah, nah. And you leave it out on the counter the whole time, or do you put it away? We leave ours out. Yeah, it looks like something from Star Wars. I don't yeah. like it. 
Looks like something to put like the cat litter in. <laughs> I mean, there's no pizzazz, but hey, Just it gets the job nice. done. I'm telling you, give it a shot. I Maybe mean, we got Fully, one for in here. You'll lose weight with one, I think. Really? If you eat that over fast food, yeah. Okay. Yeah, 100%. What if I do both? But do you put a slice of pizza in there that's a day old for 10 seconds or like 30 seconds? 30 seconds? 30, 30 seconds. seconds. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. What? I, don't, I still don't understand I'm what it is. I'm cooking ring, chicken wings from fucking raw in like 15, 20 minutes. Oh, you're not talking frozen? I thought you meant like pre-cooked frozen wings. Uncooked, baby. Raw. Oh. Not frozen solid. It's got to be thawed. But what 20 if you got minutes, a think tank minutes. involved in this? This guy did have a Ronco rotisserie. He might know what he's talking the about. The Ronco was solid. It wasn't the waste of money that I thought it might be, but it was solid. This shit is so worth it. It's mm. so much better. It's the best. Kev, you got one? It's fantastic, right? Thank you, dog. Hmm. You don't trust Big Kev. You don't have to trust me, but you got to trust Big Kev. True. Might big, be Kev's a, maybe big Kev's a straight shooter. Mind. This guy I'm not keen on, but that's Big Hey, I, I get hyped up and buy into things. Big Kev is more stoic than that. He's more level-headed than me. Yeah. Let us take a look at these air fryers. Might be something to this. Could be a little money in it, though. Right. Get an endorsement deal, H. Foley's Air Fryers. <laughs> I, I had one for a little bit, and I called Bobby Kelly to ask him what I should do with it. And he's like, yeah. oh, dude, you can do anything. You do wings. And my favorite, sausage and peppers. Sausage <laughs> and peppers. Did you get one? Yeah. And you use it? I, I, I don't, currently don't own anything. Okay, I bet The bugs. bed bugs took it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they ate everything. <laughs> Works great on bed bugs. You lost it in the bed bugs? No, I lost it in the first apartment purge. But yeah, no, no more. Uh, hmm. Too bad. We'll cut this out and keep moving. <laughs> yeah. Toby's hanging on by a real thing. <laughs> the thread. I don't know if you were that. I don't think these cameras are on. <laughs> Oh, that was oh, good acting. That, that was, was some acting. great acting that was by good Toby acting. McMullen. Shit. That was good acting. Man, that was great you acting. were just fired in my head. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, I was like, he's, he's going to be walking out here with a box of his stuff. Oh, God. I would have made you buy me an air fryer. Damn. All right. Let's do a couple more here. Um, this is from Tommy. Have you ever faked, it a, po- have you ever faked a positive COVID test? No, no. I definitely turn out. But I've helped people fake positive COVID <laughs> tests. I've sent them my positive COVID test so they can fake shit. Whoa, yeah. that's a good phrase. Yeah, it's a great course. fucking excuse, man. Of course. I've been it's using. Great. I've used. Uh, Nobody wants to go near you. I've yeah, been exposed. Oh, yeah. I just found out I got exposed. Yeah. Can't uh, go. I I've just got exposed. a text that he got it. I yeah. got I got to shut down the operations over here. Oh, yeah. Great. Great. Get out of jail free card. Nobody wants to go near you. I, and I've spread COVID to many people, so they, you know they're like, "Yeah, yeah we took out a lot there. of people. This <laughs> <laughs> took out us. Yeah, I almost ruined your podcast." <laughs> um, was that pre-vax too? Pre-vax. It was. Yeah. He got sick pre-vax. Holy yeah. I got shit. sick pre-vax, got vax, and then I got sick post-vax. I got Omicron. So, I had the Omicron too. So when Yanni nothing. rolled in here, that was all pre-vax. He was on his way when he, he was. All, Giannis you. was on his way here. No, I would have had to been vaccinated. No, it was December. There was no. I mean, the vax had just come out, but like frontline workers got it. Damn. No, I got it Thanksgiving. That could have taken me out. Yeah. Yeah. No yeah. air fryer in hell. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need it. <laughs> You're the one frying. Um, yeah, that was a go-to shit. for a while. And then I got it. And I was like, is that karma? Is that me throwing out bad karma from no, the crowd? No, so no. Like, those kind of excuses it, are great. It. You don't even have to say you have it. Not even say it. Bonds the- Exposed. Listen, last night, this kid hit me up. Fucking, I hate this guy. I didn't Fucking even want to go. Yeah, I didn't want to go. I wasn't really near him, but, you know, because I can't stand the guy. You know, it's it's crazy, but. Just to be safe, yeah, I'm You're sorry. Out. You're free. Fucking out. Couple of Eddies, throw on fucking the Book of Boba Fett. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> the Book of Boba Fett. Oh, my God. Um. All right, let's see here. <coughs> this, is, this is from the Savage Cabbage. Do your families have any garbage remedies or cure-alls that actually work? Is there any, you guys... Uh, Indians always use Indian stuff. So like turmeric, like haldi is what we call yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. My mom will use that. Like she used to heat that up, make it like a paste with water, what? heat it up, and then if I had a sprain or any swelling, she would just wrap my entire appendage in it or whatever. <laughs> if I sprained my ankle, my whole ankle would be wrapped in it, stained yellow. And turmeric? Yeah, turmeric with um, maybe onion or something, but turmeric paste for Throw a sure. couple chickens. Get some chicken <laughs> in an air fryer. You got a fucking party. Heat, and I swear to God, that shit works so well. Yeah, yeah it's crazy. It but you're, like, you have to wrap my foot in like a fucking plastic bag so I can stain everything I touched. Jeez. And you leave it, and then and the next day it'll always be fine. It increases blood flow, I believe, is what it does. Probably. Yeah. Turmeric's great for you. My dad has it in his shake every day. They recommend that he have it in his uh, in his little shake, a little turmeric. 
Really good. Turmeric and ginger. It's really good stuff. Yeah. Ginger's good stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Um, all right. Let's see. It's from Tony P. Ever pull a fire alarm for a reason, for any reason other than a fire? I never pulled a fire alarm in my life. Seems Too so scared. Fun. Yeah. Too I think scared. even if there was a fire, I'd be nervous to do it. <laughs> yeah. It's not going to get back on me, is it? <laughs> my fingerprints are going to be in it. No, that's a, that's a trash move. Yeah. Have you ever been somewhere where someone pulled it, like a movie yeah. theater or some shit? Yeah. I think yeah. in school it would ha- you know, it would happen from time to time for in sure. school. That yeah, shit for- didn't squirt out at you, though. That was fucking bullshit. Oh, they used to say there was, like, mercury or something in the glass, right? Mercury? Oh, what the fuck? Something like They're that. They're not Russian agents. What the fuck? Mercury? <laughs> it was like a blue dye or something. I don't know about... What, do so you think... Scorch it's- botulism in your face if you pull it. <laughs> what the- mercury? What the fuck, uh, man? Isn't what's in the glass? <laughs> yeah, your school is fucked up. <laughs> it that. was the 1920s. Did I tell you that? <laughs> Don't pull the fire alarm to get bear sprayed. <laughs> I don't teach you. Mercury. Oh, <laughs> well, isn't it in the glass? Like the thermometer. Type. I'm not wrong, I don't mercury. think. It doesn't squirt it out at you. I'm asking what you meant. You said it squirts out. I said, oh, what, the mercury? Yeah, you know, they never told you that, that like if you pull a fire alarm, it squirts something on you so they know it was you. It's like a dye pack. No, what? That's insane. Yeah, they didn't They didn't tell you that. So what, you're school? in the middle of a fire, then all of a sudden you're a victim of assault? That's insane. It's not a lot. It's so people when it's so... So people that pull fake fire alarms, they know what kid no, did it. That's something they tell you. So that's you don't pull the fake that's like the pain in the pool. That's that doesn't, exactly. Yeah, that doesn't the, exist. They didn't tell you that. No, no, not at all. You hear that? No, I farted and it smells. That's my bad. I didn't even smell it. <laughs> yeah, you will. Is that turmeric? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. Somebody of got a sprained ankle. What's going on? Here? <laughs> um. All right. Let's see. Let's do one more here. Um. Ba, ba, ba. This is from TJB. First time question. Have you ever eaten at a grocery store hot bar? Yes. Oh, fuck, fuck yeah. yes. Fucking love it. Fuck yeah, it. bro. Hey, that's great, especially if you're doing like low carbs or something. Just go get a bunch of meat and a couple of veggies hey. out the door for like nine Sesame bucks. Sesame chicken, mac and cheese, mashed potatoes, and meatballs. See, so you're that's laying off the carbs. Go. <laughs> <laughs> Not now. You know, the, the, the stuffing, the, the twice baked <laughs> potatoes. Pre pandemic. Yeah, I was big, especially especially in New York when you're running around spots and like if you have a day job. And Fucking you, unbelievable! I was the king of hot bars. I'll eat every deli I know had they're one. They're gone now. Whole Foods. They're back in Whole Foods now. I think the uh, Whole Foods I hot bar a little overpriced. Yeah, it's too uh, yeah. much. You you had to go the, the you have to go to like a like a nice bodega in the city, mm-hmm. especially around Midtown. That keeps it clean for, oh, like, the working crowd. Around lunchtime? <laughs> God damn, the uh-huh. fucking plantains, the salad, the whole nine yards. I don't know who makes that chocolate pudding. I'll tell you that. <laughs> You're getting the chocolate pudding in a hot bar? That's crazy. <laughs> I did see one time a homeless guy walked in and grabbed just meatballs with his hand. And that? Like, never again. Yeah. Why did I never think that would happen? <laughs> That's insane that I thought crazy people didn't walk in and just grab food. Yeah. So you only got to go stuff they can't grab with their hands. Fucking the spinach artichoke. You know what I mean? Man, I love a fucking hot bar, dude. Fucking love it. Awesome. It's a great. It's the only place yeah. you have like, it's like a buffet, you know, turkey, meatballs, fucking whole nine yards. I once spent $30 on supermarket sushi. It was a great day. Damn. Supermarket sushi is all right. What but then, a lot of times you got the guy back there chopping it up, rolling it. That's when you know you got a real nice grocery store <laughs> when you got the guy back there. You don't have a guy? At, uh, No. Uh, maybe they do at McCaffrey's. At the Wawa on South 6th, they don't have a guy? <laughs> <laughs> Give me a tuna classic and a spider roll, huh? <laughs> What's the sake situation in here? <laughs> Gang, Mr. Akash Singh, brand Ooh. new special out right fucking now. Check you it out. You gotta check it out. He's Bring a- back up who he's on tour right now, I believe. Yes, sir. Well. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. He's a got? killer. Go check him out. Let the folks know. What do you got cooking? What do you plug got coming up? Plug the dates. Up? Let me plug the dates. Plug, Let me pull it up. Plug, Let me plug, rip plug, for a few plug. Okay. Uh, I'm doing a SoCal run. February 20th, I'm going to be in Oxnard, California at Levity Live. February 23rd, I'm going to be at the Improv Irvine. February 24th, our Ontario Improv. And February 25th, I'm going to be in LA, Hollywood, the Dynasty Typewriter Theater. March 11th, I'm going to do a couple Canada dates real quick. March 11th, Vancouver Playhouse, and April 22nd, 23rd, 
Toronto Royal Theater. The rest of my dates are on AkashSingh.com, A-K-A-S-H-S-I-N-G-H.com. Look at that, buddy. It's a killer. We love you. We're Thank so you. proud we of you. you happy. Guys. Thank you for happy having me. Happy for you. It's fucking absolutely fantastic. Thank you for everything. Thank Obviously, you. always. Kippy, what do you got for him? Uh, check out our dates, the Middle Class Famous Tour, Hartford, Albany, Syracuse, Atlanta, Tampa, Orlando, Pittsburgh, Buffalo, Detroit, Denver, Phoenix, Salt Lake City, Chicago, Rosemont. More dates coming. Check it out. Come see us, gang. It's a fun time. It's a great way to introduce new people to the show. So bring the squad with you. Yeah. That's a great point. People got to see you guys in person to get. Well, I mean, I see you guys in person, but that's the best way to yeah, get it. Yeah, it's a selling point for sure. The best way to get it. Mm-hmm. And check out the special. And we love you. And we'll see you next week. Peace. God bless. Oh, Peter. <laughs>